Some Danish students are coming to BHS. We talked to some people to learn more about it. So six years ago, we started this exchange program with the high school in um, Hobro, Denmark. And it's a high school that's about the same size as Brevard. And they came here first, and we hosted them. Um, Denmark is a very flat country, so when they came here, they were all pretty excited about how, how beautiful it was here. Schools in Denmark are very different than they are here because um, from their freshman year on, they're tracked based on their interests. So um, if you are interested in social studies, and then you, most of your classes are geared toward that. If you're interested in music, most of your classes are geared toward that. Um, this year, we're getting the, the class that is geared toward music. So from very early on, they take English too. So they're very fluent in English as well. So they love to come over here and practice their English on us. Our students will be here um, on March 26th through April 6th. Ms. Dotson will be having a walking club in Richmond on Tuesdays doing A for the next three weeks. Meet at the track and bring comfy walking shoes. Ms. Hardy will be offering a simple jewelry making enrichment on Mondays doing A lunch. There will be a new enrichment about the history of the 80s music in Mr. McCann's room on Fridays during A lunch. There will be a stress managing enrichment offered during A lunch on Wednesdays in the theater. Bring a yoga mat or towel to sit on. We took a look at the BHS band and chorus in honor of music in our schools month. <laughs> between friends and uh, it's a higher level of communication between people. This Thursday, October the 30th, the Theater One class will be hosting a one-act play in the auditorium. We talked to a few students to find out what it's going to be like. Hi, I'm Alan in Theater One's one-act play coming up. Uh, this is a test and this is a test is all about um, like this ridiculous like if you've ever been in any sort of like crazy like standardized test like an SAT or ACT or like in one of your classes and you just like have no idea what's going on, then this is the play for you. This all of your frustrations will be expressed in this play. It's great, you should go, and it's gonna be really funny, and it's lit. Hey, I'm Nicholas Mahalis. I'm the voice in the one act play for Theater One. Uh, I guided our main character through his quest of the classroom. Check it out. It's groovy, dude. <laughs> we talked to Coach Pritchett and Ethan Shook for more information on the Be Strong Club. Well, uh, one of the things in the weight room is uh, making monsters, and, and we've got different uh, levels of the club, uh, the monster club if you want to call it. Uh, for the kids that are in weight training, when they get their, uh, their maxes, they get certain points for the amount of weight they lift and how fast they run their 40 time and shuttle time. Uh, we've got three levels. The, the bottom level is 100 points. Um, second level is 125, and then the monster the Monster Club's over 175 points, and in 12 years of coaching, I've had uh, one guy getting that, and uh, Ethan Shook's the only member of that club right now, and hopefully we'll get more uh, that gets that high on the points. Uh, looking forward to it. And uh, if you wouldn't mind going to fnfmagazine.com slash coverboy and voting for me to be the cover at FNF Magazine. Thank you. I'm Aaron, and welcome to the Sports Spectrum Update. On Tuesday, men's tennis is home and baseball and softball are away. On Wednesday, women's soccer and baseball are home. On Thursday, men's golf is away and baseball and softball are away as well. On Friday, softball is away and track and field is away. Cap and gown portraits will be held next week in the auditorium. New scholarships are available, either coming soon or already out. <laughs> All right, so seniors, we have made daily announcements and we hope that you are taking advantage of all the great scholarships that are available to you. There is a State Employees Credit Union Scholarship valued at $10,000 total, um, which gives you about $12.50 per semester, and that is a great help. That is for really any senior that has a 2.5 GPA or higher. 
that does plan to attend and has been accepted to one of the UNC campuses for next year. The database that we have online that we share is available from the website and there are many different scholarships available. So if you have not already applied, I would encourage you to look over that database and check out all the great scholarships that are available. So if you haven't, like I said, go ahead and get on there now and start applying. The more you apply, the more chances you have. And any amount can help. So don't be um, afraid to go for those ones that are a little bit smaller in amounts, but they can all add up quickly. On April 1st, Provide FFA will be hosting a Bluegrass Benefit concert. We talked to Daniel Tool for more information. If you like what you heard, Brevard High School FFA is going to be hosting a bluegrass concert on the football field uh, on Saturday, April 1st from 3 o'clock until 8 o'clock. There's going to be antique tractors uh, there, there's going to be food trucks, it's going to be a ton of fun. Uh, some of the bands that are going to be coming are Carolina Blue, Slick Fisher, The Birds and the Crow, Cody Senior, uh, and Caleb Gilbert is going to be playing as well, as are some other people from around the community that are talented that are coming out to play as well. Um, the cost for the tickets for students. Uh, are $10 if you buy them before the day of the concert and $15 for adults if you buy them before the day of the concert and they're $5 more expensive if you, if you buy them the day of the concert. Uh, we'd love you to come out and, and participate uh, and take part in this in this awesome program. Um, um, if you're interested in buying a ticket please get in contact with one of the Brevard High School FFA officers or myself um, and we hope to see you there. It's going to be a ton of fun. Last week we talked about the new improvements being made to the barn. We also have some new additions to the barn family. The piglets were born at the barn. The heifers were born at the barn as well, with more on the way. For more information on these stories and more, please visit the Broadcaster website. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. See you next week! <laughs> <laughs>